So I asked my Instagram. <laughs> back to my channel i'm jaya but you can call me holly j and today's video is my first ever q and a omg okay so i asked my instagram to you know drop me some questions um because i was doing a q and a i asked instagram i asked my facebook i asked twitter because i don't have that many subbies so i had to ask everybody but it's okay, I knew that once I hit 1K subscribers, I wanted to do a Q&A, just so people can get to know me a little bit more. So hopefully the next time around, all of you could be a part of this and ask me some questions, but hopefully you get to know a little bit more about me from these questions. I don't really know like what kind of topic they're on, but I have a feeling they're gonna be kind of all over the place. Some may be like more about who I am. Others may be about like who I wanna be. So yeah. Okay, so before I get into the questions, I'm gonna just start with like a basic FAQ. My name is Jaya. Um, I am 23, just happened on April 27th. So my birthday is April 27th. I am a Taurus. My Family is from the Caribbean. My father is from St. Lucia. My mother is from St. Thomas. I was born in Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee, a 5 crib. Yes, Tallahassee, Florida. I currently reside in Tampa, Florida, where I went to school at the University of South Florida, where I got my BA in Mass Communications, Public Relations. And I just graduated December 13th, 2019, right before COVID happened. So, bam, I'm God's favorite. <laughs> I have one and a half dimples. I'm the baby of my siblings. I have a brother and a sister. Yeah, so let's get into the questions. So, the first question I see here is, we getting straight to it. I don't know how many questions I'm gonna do. I hope I do the good ones because I don't want this video to be too long, but um, I didn't really like categorize the questions. I'm just kinda like pulling them up. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? What inspired me? I'm gonna start with simply always watching YouTube. I love YouTube. I've been watching YouTube since like middle school. In the Marvels, um, Spoken Reasons, um, Benji, like all the OGs and stuff. I've I've been watching YouTube for a long time when it was just for entertainment. And then as YouTube morphed and as I got older, I never really knew exactly what I wanted to do as like, you know, a job. Like there's things that I was interested in, but one thing that stayed consistent was that I wanted to build my own brand. And as YouTube continued to develop and evolve and, you know, I started to see people that inspire me and just like, where youtube can take you and how you can impact people and influence people and really make an impact and build a brand that really like spoke to me and youtube just really is like a place for me to express myself to show my talents to empower inspire these are things that are really important to me and a part of who i want to be as a person and like what i want my career to be about to influence and empower like those things are very important values to me and i find youtube to be the place where i believe i could do that like video content is king like i've tried it in so many ways i've tried vlogs i've tried an instagram page and now i'm just like okay well you know what we're gonna put me in the front and we're gonna get this youtube popping plus I'm like super obsessed with vlogs and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to vlog so bad. Like, I want to vlog so bad. <laughs> but yeah, the main points were just to inspire, to express myself, to put myself out there, to build myself a brand and like positively influence other women like me. And number one is, I said this before and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to be someone to put on for the brown and dark skinned girls, period, period. Next question. 
what's your favorite trend right now okay so i don't know if this is like fashion i'm gonna say fashion i think my favorite trend right now are these little short heels the little heels like not too short but little short heels and then they like strappy i got some orange ones if you see my last vlog i took some pictures in some orange ones or if you follow me on instagram you can see my pictures it's like my favorite trend right now i love how you can like tie them around the in the bottom of your jeans i like how you can have like this like sexy look you know but you could like last all day you can't you can't wear four inch heels all day but you could throw on these little kitten heels with the little straps the straps make it sexy and then they come in all these colors like i want so many more colors i'm really digging those right now i definitely am what's your starbucks drink order to be honest i don't have one Honestly, in college People used to like go to Starbucks all the time and I just be like, I'm, I feel like I'm not doing college right. Like I'm not drinking coffee. <laughs> like, are you even in college if you don't drink Starbucks coffee? And I just felt like, dang, I don't, I don't even know what to get. I'm like, what is the big deal? So I used to ask around and I'm like, okay, well, what's the sweetest thing on the menu? So I guess you could say white, mo white chocolate mocha or one of those white, white chocolate something. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could. That was like almost two and a half, three years ago. Right now, I can tell you what I drink as far as coffee, like my favorite coffee. It definitely is the pink velvet latte from Dunkin' Donuts, but that's seasonal. So right now, I've been getting the vanilla latte. So I can say I like latte. What's your favorite song when you're sad in your feelings versus versus favorite song when you're happy this is a good question oh well in my feelings it's definitely janae aiko but what song oh why aren't you smiling that tatted on me w-a-y-s just the acronyms because everything she says in that song is just like it really puts you in a perspective to just be like yo i don't have time to dwell because Everything really isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like Janae said, everything really isn't. You know what? Let's play that real quick. Y'all gotta hear what she said. She's really that girl. Just, just so you know. Period. It don't stop. You can't stop. Hey. Why aren't you smiling? You're chasing the wind. There's really no end. There's really no beginning. There's really no winning. Nothing really isn't. Okay. Okay. Okay, I messed up the lyrics just a little bit. Like, I think it's because y'all watching me. Because honestly, like, in the shower, I know this song word for word. So, yep. That is my favorite song. In my feelings, you know, overthinking, just everything. It really just puts life back in perspective. Like, girl. Like, I think, about, like, it takes me back to, like, times in middle school when... I was in my feelings about a crush or something and it's like look at you now like it's not going to matter like it hurts right now it's sad right now you feel this way now but you keep moving and then it's like it never even happens sometimes sometimes not everything but sometimes my favorite song when i'm happy a lot of favorite songs but happy that's so hard because it's just like you know they change but i'm gonna go with i really like flawless remix Nicki Minaj murdered, murdered her uh, verse. When that song comes on, I just like looking trendy, daddy, yeah, Japanese, and it like. <laughs> like, my energy is just up here. Like this. How do you choose which DIY projects to do? So, for DIY projects, it's really the way my mind works. I'm gonna be talking about myself for a second, so don't be, don't, yeah. So I think just for the longest, like as long as I can remember, 
even my mom will say this and stuff like I just have a really good eye for beautiful things or like eye catching things or creative things and because I have a creative mind I, I can look at things and and think about like ooh, how can I recreate that like that's just how my mind goes I think it's for two reasons for one I'm kind of cheap it's just some things that I don't feel like need that you don't have I just feel like it's some things that I'm just not gonna put out that much money for that's just how I feel about that uh so my mind kind of goes like how can i recreate it but then also for me diy is literally so much fun like i love it like i love getting my supplies i love doing it i love putting my spin on it you know i just i love the whole process of diy and i can't wait to like get into like home decor diy and stuff like that right now we just keeping it to fashion but it's so much more that i can do and i can't wait it's it's really just like like mood boards like I see something and my mind is just like, ooh, how can I recreate that? Um, sometimes I'm also inspired by just other people that have done projects, but then I just think like how I could do it better or do it different or make it black girl friendly, you know? Cause some, it's a lot of DIYers that are more, that are not women of color. And so it's, it'd be different. <laughs> So I'd be like, okay, let me bring this, let me bring this to the culture and we gonna feel it. You know, I'm gonna put our little spin on it. So yeah, like Pinterest, Instagram, I'm constantly saving pictures. I'm constantly pinning stuff. Like I have so many Pinterest boards. I just, I try to just stay inspired. I get inspired by just images. And then sometimes I might think of something on my own, you know, like something that I could create. But most of the time, I'm just inspired by images and nature and things like that. Okay, so what celebrities, influencers do you look up to for fashion? Rihanna. Rihanna Navy, check in, check in, check in. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Rihanna is king. Okay. Um, I really like Tierra Walker style, but Tierra Walker got money. So, yeah. Um, I like Karuchi trans style. I like the way I like the way Jada puts her fits together because she mixes low end with high end. I like. You know, keep your outfit real simple. Like, you don't have to spend too much on, like, your clothing. But it's just, like, how you dress it up with your chains, with your uh, your Chanel, with your bag, you know, your shoes. I like that style of dressing. So, I like the way Jada put things together a lot. Let me see. I mean, Jayla Corian is pretty much a fashionista as well. She doesn't do too much fashion content anymore. But she's cute. I just tweeted about this, like, recently. I was just talking about how, like... Women of color don't have no fashion icons right now. Like, who's really slaying for us right now? Like, we really lacking. People that's really putting on right now is like Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber. They really slaying the game. We don't have nobody. Like, Rihanna is over here selling makeup and freaking lingerie, and she don't post no more. So, that was my icon. Like, that's my muse. Like, so many of her outfits. Oh, Jesus. 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 She just that girl oh oh she made me sick question you get paid by youtube girl no <laughs> not yet i think by july y'all say with me by july jay is gonna be dropping some some like a post or like an update that baby we is monetized but as of right now no i don't have all that I need yet. Like, I'm very close, but I'm not there yet. So, not right now, but my goal is July. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey. How did you create your backdrop? Okay, so I'm guessing she's talking about my checkered pattern backdrop that I'm normally in. So, that is just a peel and stick wallpaper. See, again, like, I'm I'm very innovative, like creative in that way. Like I, I'm using my small room to create different settings. So that's just like wallpaper that I just, I'm, it's not even the whole wall, it's just a little corner of my room that I'm like, okay, this is gonna be for filming. And I just got like the peeling stick from Target. I really wanted vertical black and white stripes or like 
horizontal like sephora but they didn't have it so i had to go with like the the checkered which i'm okay with because it's black and white but it's not my first choice i would have loved to just have like vertical stripes so, most important career advice you've learned that college didn't teach you Hmm. okay since working college prepared me pretty well to like be a good employee but at my place of employment i would say it doesn't teach you creativity it teaches you how to create it teaches you you know strategy it teaches you how to think through a strategy like how to build a strategy how to market like how to do those things but it doesn't teach you creativity I don't know if that's advice though. Career advice? Kind of like specific to my field. Like in my field, you don't get taught creativity. Like you gotta have it. It's gotta be something that you kind of just have and you know how to like tap into and work with and think ahead. I guess another thing would be don't hold yourself to a low standard because you're new or like you're fresh out of college. Like. What I did learn being in my, my position, even though I'm the youngest at my in my department and all that, fresh out of college, everything, don't discredit yourself. You are the expert. That's why they hired you. They they are trusting you. Like you sold it to them at your interview and everything. So they trust you. Like you don't have to look to the left and look to the right to be like, is this okay? Like that's what I'm having a hard time like struggling with, because that's like college, you know. You look for instruction you look for direction but at work i'm learning to just trust my instincts trust my creativity trust my judgment and go with it i think that might be a little custom to my employer but i think that could be advised across the board like trust trust yourself because they hired you for it and they're going to want you to be confident in that and show up what exactly do you do at your job yes, i'm the social media coordinator what that means is my main priority is reputation management. I'm like on our social media responding to comments, responding to concerns, responding to like private messages, DMs, like really rep managing the reputation, keeping a good relationship with our consumers, trying to troubleshoot their issues, get them escalated to the right people if they need help and stuff. That's my main priority. And honestly, you know, it's pretty, eh. excuse me. What editing software do you like to use? I love Premiere Pro. What area of fashion are you interested in? Designing? It's funny that you say that because like I don't see myself in the fashion world necessarily. I just like to create. I just like to create and create in all types of ways. I like to create content. I like to create videos. I like to create looks. I like to create DIY projects like I just like to create I love clothes so they just kind of mesh I think I have a sir I think I mean I mean I think I got a little sister style you know what I, mean? I don't have any like aspirations to be in fashion necessarily I love to be like a fashion inspo like you know get my fashion like get my looks up get my you know get my expand my fashion catalog I guess you could say like expand on that and be like a fashion inspo but i don't have necessarily like plans of designing or anything like that never have really but i have dibbled and dabbled with how to draw very well but i have always kind of like thought about designing purses because i really love purses but to have like my own luxury purse line that would be really cute i just don't know what it's gonna look like how to make it come to life how to even draw it like i just i haven't really thought about that it's something that i've always thought to do top three favorite rappers top three Drake, young thug and who gets me going hold on let me look at my phone because my phone will tell you who i like i got a lot of drake in here i got a lot of drake in here uh, future future baby i i really like meat mill too though so like kodak like i don't have to put him in there because kodak is just great like just great if someone asked what songs do you have on repeat right now definitely desires by drake kalani girl definitely got serial lover change your life um hate the club 
child the whole album party for me by janae i mean the whole album slaps but you know that did come out in march so you know i'm kind of getting i'm kind of letting it breathe but definitely i run that back at least probably once a day for me it's really like a vibe i just really love that song nasty by the baby was on repeat for a minute all in little baby the ones that was on repeat definitely who are your favorite youtubers so crazy because it's still a blog and it was called the egg gal and i had made a blog about my top six favorite youtubers and like that was like in 2016 and to this day, they still my favorites. Like, it's my favorite YouTubers are Jayla Majet, Jayla Corian, Aaliyah J, Glamazon Tay, um, Tierra Walker. Even though Tierra kind of, I don't want to say this on YouTube because, I mean, if T ever sees my video, you know. Shout out to you. You know, like, Tierra used to talk to us a little bit more. Like, we ain't getting a lot of Tierra right now. So, I don't know what's up with that. But she definitely was one of my faves. And now, Kyra. Kyra, I'm unique. That's my, that's my bestie. Like, that's my little, that's my bestie right now. Like, watching her come up, I'm just like, uh, Like, everything that she says, like, like, how she felt about YouTube and everything. How she, like, went after it is just how I feel about it. And... I just hope my success can follow suit because Kyra really is the closest like thing because the others are kind of OGs but Kyra's up and coming and like she's really getting to it and I just I just love her energy. How was USF? Honestly that would be a whole video by itself and I definitely talked about my experience at USF in my first video on this channel so if you want to know about my college experience check that video out. What I will say is that USF I had to go through it to grow through it, and it has get it. It's like it was a part of my my story, a part of my destiny, and it really got me to where I am now. Like who I am now and my mentality now, and like I'm bossed up. You know what I'm saying? Like it did what it was supposed to do. But did I have an amazing college experience? No. Like USF really didn't offer me that. Yeah, it's been real isolated, so I can't wait for, like, you know, my next cycle of life, you know, whether it's just that I need to move out so that I can, like, have a better social life and make better connections or whatever. I just think Tampa doesn't offer what I'm looking for. I'm just waiting on that, you know, next cycle. What inspires you? Man, y'all ask so many, like, open-ended questions. Inspire the same as motivate, yes, right? Inspires me, you know, is the people that I look up to, um, which a lot of the time it is some of these YouTubers because these are, these girls are their own boss and I'm coming for that where I know I belong. What it's gonna look like, not sure yet, but I know that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be motivating, empowering people through a brand, which is myself and something else with a greater purpose. What also inspires me is my parents, but they have overcome to give me what I have now. Like I have to do better. Like I have to do 10 times better than they did because they started with less than I did. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff inspires me. Also just having this vision of myself. I, it's, I guess you could call it manifestation, but it's just like a thing in me. And I talk to God about it and it's just like, yeah, like I'm not fooling myself. Sometimes I have to ask God, like, am I fooling myself? Like, is it just me imagining? Like, this is just like a dream, you know? No, like I can see myself where I want to be. So it's just like, it's meant to be. So I just try my hand at so many things to get me there and something's gonna stick. Anna inspires me. <laughs> She's unapologetically herself and I, I'm trying my best to become that, embody that, let that be what, you know, I lead with. Like who I am unapologetically, don't care who don't like it, this is what it is. You know, she inspires me because she's really doing it and she's really that girl. I don't know how many times I gotta tell y'all that. That's one. Top three favorite singers. <sighs> do by vocals i mean vocals it's gonna be crazy because i'm not gonna add rihanna right but i mean let's be real here there's better vocalists so i really love janae Iko. the girl can sing and summer 
me she can sing i love i love a girl who can sing and i'm singing with you because i can sing too but i can't sing like them but i can sing so when it gets when i'm jamming i love singing along with a girl that can sing like summer be singing and i love to sing so i be in the shower just singing because summer be singing okay <laughs> i want to give jasmine sullivan her flowers like i have to give jasmine her flowers but i don't listen to jasmine's music therefore beyonce beyonce for sure like i've spent nights just stalking beyonce's instagram especially when she's on tour that girl is just mesmerizing like from the costumes to the hair to the makeup like she just becomes a whole new person sasha fierce on that stage and she can sing okay so that was all the questions i had i skipped a few but some of them said the same thing um thank you guys so much for sending the questions because i was sitting here thinking that i was gonna have to ask me some my i was gonna have to ask myself some questions i'm gonna do like a get to know me tag because i was like i'm not getting no questions but this is my first one hopefully i can do one you know in the near future and hopefully more of my subbies can tap in and tune in and ask me some questions you know but we new here we only like what five six months in it's all good this is just the beginning. There'll be more to come. I feel like, you know, when I'm when I start to move and things start to change and I go when I go places, y'all gonna wanna know more. So then y'all gonna ask your questions. So I ain't even tripping. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you like. Um yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.